All right, so today we're gonna to talk about volume, and we have learned about volume already in science class, and now we're gonna apply it to math. So in math, it's actually even easier than what we did in science. We're just going to find out today unit cubes. What I start with is a unit cube. A unit cube is a cube that is one centimeter on every single side. Now all these dice that I have are very similar. They're obviously different colors, but they are the same exact size. So if I have one die, this equals one cubic centimeter. If I have two dice, now I have two cubic centimeters. So I have the same thing up here, I've just made it twice. So I would have two cubic centimeters. And you might be thinking, why is it called cubic? The reason it's called cubic is because these are cubes, so it's called cubic. This one, I showed the dice sitting this way, but what if I turn the dice? Does that change the amount of volume? No, it doesn't change at all. I still have two, right? It doesn't matter which direction they're in. I can move them any which way. Doesn't matter. I still have two dice here, so they're still worth two cubic centimeters. So even if I have my dice up and down, this is still worth two cubic centimeters. It doesn't change anything just because I've move them around. I still have the same amount. Now let's say I have three dice all together. I have three cubic centimeters. Three blocks, it's gonna, if they all have one centimeter sides, three cubic centimeters. What if I turned it this way? Doesn't matter, I still have three. It doesn't matter which direction I change these, I'm still gonna have three cubes. What if I have something like this? This is gonna equal nine cubic centimeters. I'm gonna write CM for abbreviation. So I could also take this and I could put it on its side. Now from this angle, luckily you can, whoops. Now from this angle, luckily you can see the ones below it and we can see that I still have nine cubic centimeters. I just turned it on its side. Four on the bottom. and four on top of that. How many would I have? Well, I have a layer of four on the bottom and I have a layer of four on top. So what's four plus four? This means I would have eight cubic centimeters. So that's what it means when we're talking about unit cubes. Basically what it means is that we have a cube that is one centimeter on every side and we can put them together in any way that we want as long as we make a rectangular prism and as long as we can count up all the squares we have. We can figure out how much volume it has.